Okay, so the first step that I love to take when I'm trying to get the top of my wig super flat and laid is molding it with mousse. I'm using the brand Nairobi and I love to lather the top of this wig, um, which is basically the closure part of it, um, in mousse. And then I mold it out with my comb, basically just combing the hair into the direction that I want them to lay in once it's dry. Once the mousse is dry, once the styling is done, I'm shaping it into the direction that I want every single hair to be in with this mousse and I'll use as much mousse as I want to use if it dries up and I still don't really like the shape I'll put some more or if I feel like it's still looking very lumpy I'll add some more and mold that in so this is just up to you and your preference as far as how many times you apply the mousse but I like to get it until it looks something like this Next, I like to blow dry the hair and I'm blow drying it on the hot setting. It's as hot as it can possibly be. And I'm still basically trying to mold every single hair into the direction that I want it to lay in once it's dry. And I know sometimes mousse can make hair crunchy, but by blow drying it and by running the comb through it on the heat setting, the top will be very soft. It would not be crunchy at all. When the top was dry, I did use my Care Care Wax Stick because it's good for a lot of different reasons. Because of the, the tacky texture, it really would help me clean up my part even more. And it also would help with laying down any flyaway hairs. That's really annoying. I really hate flyaway hair, so I really gotta make sure that there are like none. If you're like that, definitely use a wax stick. And the wax stick just helps to further flatten out the top and really mold the top. Um, before you use your hot comb which is a very 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 essential step like I know people probably say this in every video that you've seen but that's that's the truth no flat iron is gonna get the top as flat as possible without this hot comb the hot comb is just like literally the best when it comes to this and all these clips are sped up but I probably sat here for a good 20 minutes making sure that this was really hot combed well and it was really flat it really does make a big difference and if you still feel like it's lumpy you could part it out you don't just have to hot comb it starting at the top you could part it in small sections and hot comb it like that to make sure that you really get in the roots of the closure or of the frontal whatever you're styling the last thing that i like to do before i flat iron the wig is run a little bit of bio silk through the top and like through the hair as a whole and I'm stingy with this product number one because it's expensive secondly because I don't want my hair to look sticky and oily I just really like that little pop of shine that it gives and if it's laying down any flyaways in the process as well that's great and then I just like to flat iron my wig I like to take small sections like this and I like to flat iron slowly I feel like running a flat iron very quickly through the hair just makes it look frizzy I don't know but that's the last step that I took in styling this wig I've made this entire wig and shown you every step that I took to creating this wig on my channel so if you missed it go ahead and catch up if you have any questions or try any of the techniques that I've shown you, then don't be shy. Let me know in the comments or hit me up on my social media, Instagram. All of that is cool. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.